My topic, uh, which was the final session in the seminar, was looking at the European Emission Trading Program as a prototype global system in dealing with climate governance problems in a multinational setting. So let me start first by saying the seminar was organized as a part of the Global Governance Program at the European University Institute uh, and looking at climate as a governance problem, which it is. This is a global good. The world is organized into sovereign nations. Uh, there is no global government, so the question is how do we deal with this problem? How do we manage it uh, in a fairly decentralized, uh, non-global uh, environment? So we started off with the science. We had Henry Jacoby of MIT sort of say, what is the science? What's the nature of this problem? And what does that imply in terms of the policy actions required uh, by the governments uh, of the world? We then moved into uh, Jonathan Weiner of Duke University, who talked about, well, what are the instruments that you might use for this? Is this a matter of conventional regulation? People have heard about cap and trade. What's that about? What about a carbon tax, uh, information programs? What are the different ways that governments might think of the instruments that they would use to deal with this problem? Then we had Peter Newell of the University of East Anglia, who came in and presented a session on what are the governance institutions that are in place now? So we've had 20 years that the nations of the world have been dealing with this problem and a series of global governance institutions have been developed that have various relations among themselves and have met with varying degrees of disappointment or success. And so he really walked us all through what, you know, how those institutions evolved, uh, evaluated them and so forth. Then we moved into two of the problems that are dealt with in dealing with the climate as a governance issue. The first is the interaction with trade, because in one way or another, you're going to increase the cost uh, in, for any nation dealing with it. You're going to increase the cost of goods produced in your own country to the extent that they use carbon or greenhouse gases. And since we don't think that everyone would act at once, our expectation is it would be there be leader countries and others that follow, there are trade impacts, and so how does this really interact with uh, the trade regimes that we have in the country? And this was dealt with by Pete, uh, presented by Pete Eckhout, uh, Eckhout of King's College uh, London. Uh, Olivier Godard of the Ecole Polytechnique then walked through the justice issues of, okay, uh, how how would different nations be treated under a system where we're going to limit access to emissions and limit the amount that can be emitted given the role of energy and their role, how they would be impacted by restricted emissions. And finally, it was my session dealing with the European emission trading system, which I would stress is a multinational trading system, much as one would expect for a global system. And so I and walking through, and the essential message of mine is, yes, this is a multinational system. The European Union has solved many of the problems uh, that would be faced on a global scale. The European Union is a heterogeneous uh, entity. There are big differences among the member states. Uh, not quite as large as on a global scale, but similar if we think of the difference between East and West and per capita income levels and so forth. Uh, and they're all sovereign nations, and there's a negotiation among them to create, uh, in this case, to create a, a, a cap-and-trade system to put a price on carbon emissions, which in fact has been quite successful. And uh, I think both showing the way of how, of the problems that would be faced in a global system, but also how to go about doing it, and uh, it, in effect, it is uh, the most that any set of nations have done in terms of dealing with these governance problems. And I think it's an example for the rest of the world.